YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I'm going for a full-on face of makeup. I haven't really ever done a full-on, full-on makeup tutorial for you, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you now. Normally, I stick to pretty light makeup, but every once in a while when I am feeling like it, I will go ahead and do a full-on face of makeup, and I really enjoy to do that on occasion. I am going to start off with a little bit of primer. This is the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I chose this primer because I'm using a very full coverage matte foundation and I really want to give a dose of that nice um, radiance underneath it. The foundation I'm using today is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I'm applying that with the Color Me Foundation Applicator. I um, actually at the same time as recording this was filming a first impression of that. So go ahead and watch that, I posted it earlier this week. The concealer I'm using today is my Bye Bye Under Eye and my Hello Light. This is the Eye Lift in a Tube duo from IT Cosmetics. I am applying the concealer side under my eye and then going in with the um, brightening side and dotting that between it. And then I'm going to blend it in a little bit with my fingers and then go back in with my Color Me device. For a little bit of cream contour, I'm going to take my NYX Invincible Foundation. This is a very full coverage foundation, and it's um, in the shade Medium, which is quite a few shades darker than my natural skin tone, and I'm going to apply that under my cheekbones and around my hairline. Again, I'm going to take my Color Me device and blend that in circular motions and a little bit up. Now that I have all of my cream products blended in, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Chanel Le Beige Powder under my eyes and... Um, through the center of my face to set, and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with some bronzer. To set the contour on my face and further enhance that, I'm going to be taking the Smashbox bronzer. This is the Sunkissed Matte. This might be warm for some people's taste. I personally prefer a warmer contour just because I have more of a yellow neutral color to my skin. Um, for me, it ends up looking natural and sunkissed. I'm taking that with my Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush, blending that into the contours and upwards and also around the hairline. Once I have that applied, I am then going to take the same brush with no additional product added and lightly blend in circular motions across my whole face just to make sure everything looks nice and seamless. For blush, I'm going to be using the Rockateur from Benefit. This is my absolute favorite blush and I always um, tend not to use it on camera because I used it on camera so much when it first came out, but I am still loving this and I am just applying that right onto the top of the cheekbones and blending it into the contour. Going back to my bronzer, I am taking a small blending brush, um, and I am going to be putting this into the crease of my eye, a little bit under my eyes and on my nose, just to further the contour and make everything look a little bit more enhanced. Now for a bit of shimmer, I am taking Pink Quartz by Bobbi Brown. This is one of her Shimmer Brick Compacts. I'm applying that with a fan brush lightly to the tops of my cheekbones. Then I'm taking it onto my upper cupid's bow, the center of my nose, and under my brows. I'm also going to take my pinky and just dab this right into the inner corner of my eye. And that is the skin pretty much done. I'm going to use a little bit of my Fix Plus to keep everything nice and dewy. Then I'm going to move on to the brows. Starting with Soft Brown from Anastasia, I'm going to really hit my arch and the outer section of my brow using short little strokes to kind of create the illusion of brow hairs. I'm stopping just about here with the darker eyebrow pencil, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch to Taupe, which is a couple shades lighter, and do the same thing to the inner section of the brow. Once you have everything drawn in where you like it, go ahead and take the spoolie side of the brow wiz, or just um, an extra spoolie that you have, and comb through everything to make sure everything is nice and blended. Then I'm going to move on to a little bit of powder to set the brows into place. I am using my Full Exposure Palette from Smashbox and taking a couple of the cooler tone matte shadows on an angled brush and using the darker one again towards the outer and the lighter one towards the center, blending in the middle. And then if that was not enough brow for you, I'm going to go ahead and give them a little bit of a set with the Caramel Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. Um, getting most of the product onto the arch of the brow and then really using it to flick up the center part. To clean up under my brow and add a little bit of extra highlight, I used the Nude Liner from Kiko. This is number one, and it's one of the Skinny Fit Kajals. To tightline the upper rim of my eye, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Pretty In Mink Liner, and I'm just going to run that all across and then slightly smudge it into the lash line a little bit on the outer. I'm also going to take this very faintly and lightly through the roots of the lower lash line and then blend out with my pinky finger. Next, I'm going to give my eyelashes a quick curl, and then I'm applying a tiny bit of brown mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher because that's the only brown mascara that I currently have, and I'm really taking my time and making this super light and not heavy or clumpy. 
Moving on to lips, I'm going to lightly, 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 and I mean lightly define the edge of my lip with a little bit of sand from Studio Gear. I'm then taking my finger and really, really, really blending this into the lips. And then lastly, for the lips, I'm going to be applying Jennifer's Nude from L'Oreal and um, putting that in and again rubbing it out with my fingertips. Just to make sure everything is super blended around the lips, I'm taking a small eyeshadow brush and really buffing around the edge. And this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this full-on makeup look. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below letting me know of future looks that you want to see. Subscribe to my channel right now if you're not already. You can go ahead and click on my face to do that. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those things are at John John Talks, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Skin. And it's really moving it around. I don't feel like it's... I don't know. Can you see what I mean? Like, it's just leaving a little imprint